Hi guys, what's up? This is Ketan here and today I'm going to talk about Wellinger GDPI uh, process and a uh, couple of important things by the way. So uh, let me let me tell you um, honestly that today I'm not really going to talk about you know what I'm going to cover in the classroom or you know my online program and all that stuff. Um, but today I really want to talk to you about something which is a little different you know as far as um, your GDPI is concerned. So um, yesterday I had a lecture in Pune. We had a fantastic lecture for like four hours as far as GD is concerned. Uh, today we will be covering PI by the way. Anyway, so that's the point. The point is that a lot of students in the market, you know, I have seen them that uh, their, their, you know, their perception towards college um, is a little different. I mean, there are people who feel that, okay, they will be able to crack GDPI like this, you know, um, because they have got good percentile or they have a work X or, you know, whatsoever. Uh, trust me, um, tune to me, you know, uh, for, for next 15 minutes and you will get the exact reality as far as the colleges are concerned and, you know, what kind of competition you guys are going to face. Okay. All right. So let's get started um, as far as the PG process is concerned and, you know, uh, the, 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 the mantra to crack uh, Wellinger PGDM uh, predominantly. All right. A couple of things that as an aspirant or as a... As MB students, you must take into account is that the phase one has already been done. Okay, so phase one is done and dusted. Uh, now it's a time for phase two. And if you look at if you look at the competition, I think the competition tend to go up. Yeah, it's going to increase. Now, before we go ahead, uh, why I'm saying that the competition is going to go up? What's the premise? What's the underlying argument? Or what's the hypothesis? You know, when I when I pass a comment like that. Okay, first of all, you need to understand that the college that you are catering to, which is Wellinger, okay? Now, there might be a video, video somebody, somebody must have just, you know, put in a video saying that, it's easy to crack, you know, somebody must have said, uh, I think aapka ho jayega, you know, somebody, maybe an alumnus must have, you know, given you a call and said that, Are, do, don't worry, chill mar, Wellinger is going to be easy, ho jayega. All right, but that's not how the case is, okay? Now, understand this. Phase one has already been done. Now, before I go ahead, Anna, let me let me just tell you a little bit about Wellinger. If you look at Wellinger, um, like from last seven years, if I talk about Wellinger, the college has done phenomenal job. It has done phenomenal job. If I look at the um, the graph of this college, you know, you, you talk about the education quality, you talk about the students' quality, you talk about the alumnus, you talk about the corporate relationships of this college, you talk about the guest lecturers, you talk about the international emergent programs. I think the graph has gone quite up, okay? So this college has been doing really, really good. That's number one. Number two, when I talk about the college and the competitors, um, after Wellinger, what, what do you have? Like after Wellinger, you have SIES, then you have Dalmia, so and so forth. Okay. Now, 10 or 9 people will choose Wellinger over and above these colleges. I really don't want to get into the nitty gritties and the facts and figures because you all know that Wellinger stands above as far as SIES and Dalmia is concerned. Now, if you look at the disparity or if you look at the, the gap, it's pretty huge. Now, if you look at the gap between SIS and Dalmia, it's pretty narrow. See, either you get into SIS or you get into Dalmia, it doesn't really matter to your life because it's going to be the same, right? So the opportunities that you're going to get, the kind of placements that you're going to get, the average package, not a big difference at such, guys, okay? But when it comes to Wellinker at such, the difference is quite, quite huge, okay? Now, 9 on 10 people will choose Wellinker except fees. Yeah, not to choose Wellinker. There is only reason is that the fees is quite higher. So if you're somebody who is really bothered about the fees, may want to get into SIS or Dalmia. But Wellinker has a great track record of placements, the performance, the alumnus growth, which is over and above SIS and Dalmia any point in time. So maximum people, maximum people are gearing up or dying to make it to Wellinker irrespective of the fees because they know it's a long-term thing. Even if you're paying 6 lakhs more, you have... 10, 10, 20, 30 years ka career to recover that cost, right? So people are really going to try harder for Wellinger. That's fact number two. Number three, when I talk about cutoffs, right? When I talk about cutoffs, Wellinger has given call, as far as I know, as far as what I have interacted with students, 73 percent Tyler se leke, 99 percent Tyler tak, people have gotten calls. Okay? What happens is, here, the pool of students has gone drastically up. So what's going to happen is, when I look at a sampling, okay, 
when I as a Wellinger, when I look at a sampling, right? I have hundred odd students. I'm looking at ten seats. It's a hypothetical example. Do not take it in a real sense. There are so many seats, by the way. Okay, but say ten seats are there, and hundred people have applied for it, and I have given call to all the categories of the students. Students with good work ethics. Students with good percentile. Students with good academics. Students with uh, good extracurricular activities. Every damn thing. Now here, the benefit is. with me because i get to choose the top talent in the country see it's a different game altogether baad mein wo banda admission cancel kare ya na kare that's a different ball game altogether maybe uska sidnam nikal jaye maybe uska kg somaya nikal jaye that's a different ball game altogether but as of now next week when i'm interviewing the folks out there i am predominantly focusing on the quality of students so i get to choose so the ball is at my court okay so that's that's the third thing that you need to understand ki okay boss the competition is going to be very very tough so anybody with a good work ex is catering to or anybody with a good work ex is competing against somebody who's got a excellent track record of 10 12th and graduation he is also competing with somebody who's got an extraordinary hold on the concepts freshers are tend to be good with the concepts now somebody who comes with a great academic record great percentile and a good concept is directly catering to somebody who's got a work ex of say 2 years or 3 years or somebody who's got say work ex and plus a ca for level 1 or ca i'm not talking about cpt and all that okay i'm only talking about ipcc and all that stuff or maybe a uh, complete chartered at such so you guys are competing with each other in some way or the other and that is what make this competition stiff and that's what make this competition little bit tougher comparatively last year if you look at the market dynamics every year the market is changing you talk about your cet 2016 and 17 papers were tough this year as like you know i i i'm kind of a guy who never gave any number like i never said like 110 120 125 130 nothing i just told my guys that just go with no figure in your mind because there is going to be change and yeah jb will be closing more than 135 marks right so what the, the way i look at the competition is it's pretty uncertain it's pretty pretty uncertain and that is the reason uh, the proper preparation is quite important out here fine now if you look at wellinger now as i told you the graph has gone up over and above okay every year the graph goes up let me give you a good example kejis sumaya okay kejis sumaya ka is saal ka cut off has gone up okay they have got people they've called people um 98 percentile upper as far as their cmat cut off is concerned last year it was 97 percentile now why there is a growth of 97 to 98 sir it's just a 1 percentile but within 1 percentile i think round about like maybe more than 100 people have not got the call like one of my student from um uh, from pune branch he scored 97.91 he did not get a call from kg somaya pg via cmat and it hurts me to be very honest because just a mark is away so why this happens why the cut off has gone up the cut off has gone up only because the performance of the college college has been performing very very well on the placement front on the student quality front so when you know that you as a college is doing really good definitely you want to have a good chunk of people a good chunk of student you want to have a really talented pool of students in your college so that next year when companies come on the campus they get best of best students in the market now that's the fourth thing that you need to understand okay guys so it is not like that okay i have a 3 years ka work ex you know i look amazing you know i have extraordinary accent you know i'll just going to go there and i'm going to impress them with all my you know accents and all that stuff no it does not work like that now these guys are looking for a complete package don't be surprised if you do not get selected even after having so many things on your resume okay my thing is not to demotivate you i am just warning you that guys do not take these things so granted that you know i don't need any gdp i gd i have worked for 3 years i know how to talk okay that's a good confidence but do not get carried away with this what i'm trying to tell you is understand the competition understand why the college is going to choose the best of people understand the college is performing very well so the placement is going to go up and you are in an economy which is growing so every year the placement scenario is going to go up and up there is no second thought to it that's for sure yeah let i'm definitely like 2019 elections are close by uh i don't want to really talk about the macroeconomics now uh you know let's 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 not get into that fine 
That's the first thing that I want you to understand that this is going to get a little tough. Now, coming back to the um, the pros and cons of uh, Wellinker. So what's happening in Wellinker is basically 65%, 65% of your uh, result, rather like on the 100%, is reserved for um, your past academic record, your work case, overall profile, by the way, okay, which is around about two third. And 35% is reserved for your entrance exam percentile. It might be CAT, it might be CMAT, ZAT, CT, whatsoever. So that's around about one third. Okay. Now, as far as my experience is concerned, I do not think 99.50 wala banda will be given a C in PGDM. Why? College knows I'm going to give him a chance. I may select him. This guy is definitely going to go for MMS because let it be PG or let it be MMS. He has the advantage of fees. So he will be choosing MMS. Then why should I block one seat for him? Okay. So this guy is not going to get into PG for sure, but he will be getting into MMS for sure. Okay. Now, if you look at the cutoffs, right? If 99.30 guy is given a chance, means he's scoring, say, Hypothetically, 35% on 35% kind of, okay. So he's getting full marks basically. But is this the only criteria? Now, let's, let's do a comparison. 99.93 wala banda, 99.30 wala banda, and 90% er wala banda. I do not think there is a huge gap, you know, as far as this score allocation is concerned. I don't think there is a huge gap. He may be, you know, maybe behind, like, say, like, round about like 5 to 6 marks, or even less than that. The whole and soul game is here, 65%. Uh, again, here also your past academic record is something that you cannot really undo. So you need to take care of your past academic record, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Now, I kind of come across a lot of times when people tell me, sir, my academics is really, really fucked up. What should I do? Does not matter. Your past doesn't matter, honestly. Now, I'll be uploading a couple of videos uh, on my channel, by the way, wherein you can actually... Um, Check the answer. I'm gonna give you bana banaya answer. How to kind of you know um, you know uh, answer your questions. You know why I so academic uh, poor record you have and so on and so forth. So that's a different thing. But I'll I'll be helping you for that. No doubt about that. Now this is going to be the major chunk. And Merikal say if anybody takes care of these things, if anybody takes care of these things, should have a good enough chance to make it to core or any other program thereafter because this criteria out here will not be creating such a huge gap between your selection and non-selection. So let's be honest about it. So the first thing that you get relaxed or lift about is that, okay, chalega, I, I have screwed here. No problem. I have this area. I work hard. I pull up my socks. I'm going to go, go for a good GD. I'm going to go for a good PI. Pass academic record. I don't care about it. Whatever is the interview, I'm going to give my best shot. Yes, you have a good chance to get into PG core. Okay, now PG Core is a flagship program. It is not that only top notch people will be getting into PG Core. Last year we also had a person who got into PG Core on a very less percentile. So that's okay. So you still have a chance. So your chances to get into Wellinker is as good as a person who's with 99.30. Okay, not a big difference. So that's the second thing that you need to understand. Okay, so gear up for your GDPI. Now, coming back to the main point. As far as your GD is concerned, what you should be doing? Ask anybody ask anybody, Wellinker is well known for having aggressive GDs, sometimes fish market. Yeah, these guys are known for that. And definitely happy hoga. Yahan pe zarur fish market hoga. Kyu? The IMs are done, SPs are done, JBs are done, KJs are also done. What do you have in your hand? Wellinker, this is the last hope that you have you want to work really hard. So people get desperate ki boss, at least ye college to mil jai, to bhaiya chalo, kamar ka slow, jitna mehnat kar sakte hai, utna mehnat karo. Simple. Ek saal repeat karne se achcha hai, mein wellinger mein chale jau, wo baat ka baat mein dekh lenge, kya package hai, kya profile hai, kuch bhi hai. Fine? So people work really, really hard in this season because they want wellinger any program. Okay. Another thing that you need to understand is that guys, the best thing about you, it's a good thing about you, from PG core se leke, retail management tak, rural management tak, they have everything. So, agar mein SIS aur dalmeh ki baat karu, chances Wellinger mein chalna are quite higher because they have 
plethora of courses their portfolio is quite wider you have business um, you have pg core you have e business you have business design you have rural management you've got business analytics um you got uh, retail management everything and the placements are umbrella so when it's umbrella placement sab log ek sath jaat mein jaake baithe तो नथिंग रियली गेट्स डिफ्रेंशिएटेड लाइक यू नो कि यार आप रूरल से हो तो आपको हम प्लेसमेंट नहीं दे सकते ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता देर विल बी वीडियोज आई बी अपलोडिंग ऑन माई चैनल वेरी नाइल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रोफाइल्स ऑफर्ड बाई एज कैटेगरी ऑफ कोर्सेज फ्रॉम वेलिंग कम ओके सो डू चेक दैट आउट बाई द वे ना सो दिस इज द गुड थिंग तो अगर आप ठीक ठाक से परफॉर्म कर लोगे अगर आप अच्छे से परफॉर्म कर लोगे मेरे ख्याल से भले आपका पी जी कोर ना हो बट यू विल बी इन वेलिंग कर मे बी इन अदर कोर्सेज लाइक बिजनेस डिजाइन एंड ऑल दैट एंड दर इक्वली गुड बाई द वे दे आर नॉट दैट ग्रेट आई वुड से बट येस एवरी प्रोग्राम हैज इट्स ओन प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ओके फाइन सो दिस इज इट सो वी हैव अ गुड चांस टू गेट इन टू वेलिंग कर अगर हम थोड़ा सा मेहनत करें अगर हम ठीक ठाक से पढ़ाई कर ले ट्रस्ट मे गाइज आई एम प्रिटी कॉन्फिडेंट दैट यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट थ्रू नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट जी डी नाउ हाउ यू शुड गो हेड विद जी डी नाउ पहली बात जी डी दिस इज गोट बी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ there are a lot of coaching classes there are a lot of people lot of mentors they focus more on skills gd skills how to talk how to interrupt how to open you know how to cut somebody all that stuff they talk about okay my opinion this year is different altogether you speak to uh, kj uh, this thing you speak to willing wellinger guys this year they'll tell you ha huh, uh, you know we focus a lot on um, skills but now the thing is quite different today for gd for wellinger or ss or dalmia the king is your content you do not have a good content you are out but sir i talk fantastic english you know i have uk accent i have us accent now it doesn't really matter guys okay you look good you look damn good you have great personality you've got get resume you're awesome but you are not able to talk content in the gd then you are not an awesome guy okay and do not take me wrong um the, the backbone of any group discussion is basically a content let it be a fish market let it be a sober gd but guys you got to have a content you just cannot go there and do all the talks you know just just talk stuff and you know come out of the gd and say that you know was you know what i rock the gd aisa nahi chalega market has changed completely pehle hota tha pehle gd skills dekhte the log बॉडी लैंग्वेज क्या है कैसे हाथ घुमा रहा है कैसे बात कर रहा है हाउ इज डीलिंग विद अपोजिट जेंडर ऑल दैट सब टुडे पीपल केयर फक अबाउट इट पीपल ओनली लुक एट अच्छा डू यू हैव अ कंटेंट डू यू गोट यू गोट अ कंटेंट ऑल राइट आई एम आई एम गोट बी इंटरेस्टेड इन यू ओके सो माई मेन फोकस इज गोट बी ऑन कंटेंट सो यू हैव राउंड अबाउट फाइव टू सिक्स डेज इन योर हैंड वर्क एक्सटेंसिवली ऑन योर कंटेंट ओके नाउ सर कंटेंट इज लाइक वास्ट लाइक इट इट लाइक वॉट शुड आई स्टडी इन कंटेंट इतनी सारी चीजें हैं क्या क्या करेंगे फाइन ओके आई एम गोइंग टू बी अपलोडिंग अ वीडियो ऑन माई चैनल वेर आई एम ओनली बी गो नॉट टॉक अबाउट आई एम ओनली बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दी कंटेंट लाइक विच ऑल दी एरियाज जहां से आपको पढ़ाई करनी है मतलब कौन से कौन से एरियाज पे आपको फोकस रखना है आप पूरा का पूरा नहीं कर सकते यू कैन नॉट डू एवरीथिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू यू नीड टू नो इंडिया स्टोरी वाई बुल शिट not needed who is really interested about india story anymore nobody you don't have to study what happened in 1950 and 1970s no people care a damn about it you need to understand what's right now and what's be going to be in the future because if you look at indian economy it has changed drastically i think it has changed drastically than any other economy in the globe okay so what i'm trying to do is here i'm trying to tell you that how your content should be superb how your content should be superior quality so that the panel they listen to you they respect you they like you okay so that's going to be my whole and sole attempt okay so content is going to be the king now i'm going to talk about couple of gd fundamentals okay let's understand the gd fundamental now if you are in group discussion for wellinger okay if they have given you say 20 odd minutes let's break it down 5 20 okay the first and foremost thing may what come you have to open your group discussion yeah may what come you have to open your gd by hook or by crook if not then you got to be in first 5 minutes in this first 5 minutes you must open up your gd and i i just don't say this for a sec because um when i am a panelist on colleges i'll tell you what happens with us i'll tell you what happens with us as a panelist here is a graph 
It's a normal human psychology. Anything that starts first, a lecture, a show, a drama, a conversation, a movie, whatsoever, for the first five minutes, you are at the peak of your attention. You are very attentive. You are listening to people. As the conversation moves up, as as the conversation go ahead, you know, as the GD go ahead, your 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 attention is going to go down. So you are not bothered about it because then you will be checking your mobile phone. You will be checking someone out. You will be looking here and there. You may be thinking about anything else. You you may be sitting in Wellington, but your mind is somewhere else. So as a panelist, these things happen because we are also human being at the end of the day. So these things. will not help you because if you are not entering in first 5 minutes the panels are not going to be looking at you and then what happens in the end in the last 5 minutes the attention again comes back because abhi jd khatam hone wala hai to chalo bhai dekh lete hain bachche logon ne kya kya bola ab inko maar so dene theek hai so the last 5 minutes and the first 5 minutes are going to be very important so that's 10 minutes beech ke 10 10 minutes bhagwan ke upar theek hai dekha 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 nahi dekha nahi dekha so i want you guys to get into jd for the within the first 5 minutes now how do you open a jd now i have seen lot of people opening up jd saying that hi my name is rahul and you know today's topic is say indian education system bullshit bullshit honestly is this how we open a jd we have given you a topic which is which says that indian education dude we understand that you are got the manager like you going to be a manager you are sitting in a group discussion of wellinger do not try to open up your jd like this never ever introduce your topic because your topic is given to you 2 minutes back it sounds cliche don't do that open up in a different manner so if you have to study or if you have to open up something there are three ways i can tell you how do you how do you open up your gd first of all greet your group you know nicely um hello everyone good evening something like that but do not introduce the topic because they know the topic now if you have to open up the gd i'll give you three important points the first point is database what students do 90% of the times they only talk but there is no data see the group discussion does not happen according to the group by the way it should happen from the perspective of your panelist as a panelist as a faculty as a alumnus as a industry person we are so much into business you know we we love to listen to database we love to listen to the analytics we love to listen to those management jargons we love to listen to things which suits our level Okay, I'm not saying that this is the criteria to get selected, but if your GD is in this parameter, if you are coming as a student, if you are in this parameter, mein baat karte ho, take my words, your chances of selection are much higher because then your panel will connect to you definitely. If you are saying their words, bolo definitely they will connect to you and you will be remembered by the panelist. So that is something you need to do. Talk data. When you are open up, just talk data. If there is a, there is. If there is any topic, say any anything to do with, like say, um, say around about sixty to sixty-five percent population in India is between the age group of twenty-two to like thirty. Talk data. Now, this is number one. This is the list I expect you to do, guys. List, okay? Another problem. बहुत सारे classes, बहुत सारे mentors बोलते हैं data बोलो, data बोलो, stats बोलो, number बोलो. ठीक है, बोल दिया. उसके बाद is the data only the requirement to talk? No. A smart ass will do the analysis of a data. Simple. Smartest will do the analysis of data. Say today, say today, I'm giving you a hypothetical example. I'm really not going to get into the numbers. So today, Indian GDP is say six five six point four percent. Okay, somebody will criticize it. Somebody will be in favor of it. I say, for example, I'm just giving an example. I'm telling you again, it's a hypothetical example. I'm saying that I'm not giving you the real numbers. You should you should be checking out that. That's your homework. Say six point four is the Indian uh, GDP current. Say quarter and quarter. So last quarter GDP is like say six point four, whatsoever, right? Now everybody knows about it. Everybody knows about it. What is the value addition you are bringing to the table of GDP? I, as far as this figure is concerned, why you are telling us this figure? Now there has to be an analysis. So I say, India's growth rate is round about six point four percent, which is definitely better than. other asian countries in the world that's number 1 that's the first analysis second analysis the world economy is growing at the rate of 3.2% which is 50% of the indian growth rate so if i look at the average sampling if i look at the standard deviation i think india as a country doing a fantastic job now i buy your analysis to khali wahan pe gaye 
एनालिसिस बोल दिया नंबर्स बोल दिया फाड़ फाड़ बात करी ऐसे जड़ी क्रैक नहीं होता ओके माय हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट टू यू आपके हाथ में पाँच से छः दिन है बकल अप डू द एनालिसिस यू नीड ए हेल्प वी आर देयर राव सर इज देयर आई एम देयर आर सेंटर्स आर देयर वी आर देयर ऑन सो मेनी जी डी ग्रुप्स पिक अप द फोन कॉल अस लेट अस नो वॉट प्रॉब्लम्स यू हैव put the numbers put the database on those groups whatsapps they are dry now we will help you we will try level best to help you guys okay so the first thing is that do good analysis of the database because then people will listen to you log bolte hai fish market hota hai bahut bar fish market hota hai because everybody out there is talking bullshit kisi ko pata hi nahi kya baat kar rahe hai but agar koi aisa banda hai jo data ke sath analysis deta hai trust me within 10 minutes of your gd you going to be god of that group discussion you going to be leader of that group discussion ओके okay? तो पहली चीज जीडी ओपन करो कुछ भी करके बाद में डेटा दो थोड़ा सा अगर डेटा नहीं मिला कोई भी प्रोवर्ब से चलो ठीक है एनी एनी प्रोवर्ब यू वांट टू पुट इन पुट इन किसी कंपनी का टैगलाइन अगर आपको आता है वो बोलो ठीक है कोई इंसिडेंट या फिर कोई स्टोरी अगर आपको याद आती है उससे अपना जीडी स्टार्ट करो बट बी लिटिल डिफरेंट बी लिटिल यूनिक गाइज बिकॉज देन ओनली पीपल विल बी लिसन टू यू अदरवाइज नो बी लिसन टू यू यू स्टार्ट एड पॉइंट यू यू जस्ट स्टार्ट एड पॉइंट लाइक This is your page. You started a point. You're going down. People are cutting you here. Thirty seconds, me people will cut you. Ten seconds, me people will cut you. So when you want people not to cut you, give them a quality, so that there is no comparison. If I have to appear for JD, I will prepare myself in such a way that boss, if ten marks I have to get in JD, I should be the benchmark. If I am getting nine, I should be the hundred percent wala guy. Or on my benchmarking, others should be getting marks. and then that should be your target so give data give some good taglines uh, give some good stories give some good proverbs that's how you open up gd okay now um, there is there is lot that i can talk about gd but i think today i'll take i'll, I'll stop here the only thing that i wanted you um, you guys to you know be aware is that couple of things in a nutshell that it is not going to be easy to be very honest it's not really going to be easy you need to put in extra efforts secondly do not fall for any kind of perception okay prepare as hard as you can along with little bit of smartness number 3 the competition has gone up it's going to be higher so prepare very well it's not easy it's hard there's going to be good competition but if you want to be a part of wellinker wherein you feel that after 2 years you can walk out with 8 to 9 lakhs ka package bare minimum you have to slog your ass for next 5 days and last but not the least work extensively on your gdpi content there is no way out than the content okay guys i hope this video helps you by the way as i promised about the videos uh, let me tell you how it's going to help you guys okay so what i'm trying to do is basically as far as all the wellinker things is concerned all the uh, you know gdpi is concerned the content uh, is concerned i'm going to put all the videos on my channel uh, uh, you will be getting little bit of content uh, so content is the main thing i'm going to talk about i'm going to give you certain gdpi topics as such gd topics uh, then certain questions like you know why e business after doing bcom or you know why business design after doing engineering so uh, course related uh, questions and their answers will be posted on my facebook channel so do subscribe to it and you will be getting lot of videos out there secondly if you have any doubt and if it's an urgent doubt you can call me up directly this is my facebook page you can like it you can post a comment or you can you know uh, message me out there um uh, okay so but la last but not the least guys i want you to really work hard buckle up cd ho gaya cat ho gaya sab kuch ho gaya season ka end aa gaya guys uh, i want you to be successful now at least you know pull up your socks work hard work on your content i wish you all the very best work hard thank you so much guys